You fools! You broke the containment field! Well, it doesn't matter. Those aliens will never escape this room. Aw, oh, space chickens. They've escaped. Are you saying there are villains out there trying to destroy Ivory City? We have to stop this. Where is the Defense Force of Ivory City, and what is the nature of your power systems? Moo! Moo! Moo. Fools! Were you two blithering blunderheads seriously trying to interrogate a cow? Which one of you has custody of the brain? Welcome to the new and improved Area 51. Those slimy green aliens have no idea this place exists. Now, who will volunteer to learn how to pilot the alien strike ships and blast those bulgy-eyed invaders back where they came from? We ooh, ooh, me! Pick me! I guess I will. Giselle, in a very unlikely, but still selfishly motivated, change of heart, has agreed to let us use... Borrow. Yes, borrow the fleet of alien strike ships. Now, this button uh, shoots carrots. Let's see. Uh, this button launches a fusion dark matter warhead that destroys space and time. For Ivory City, jump in your ships. form of life? I don't have time for your silly shenanigans. My planet is running out of energy, and we need to find the Crystal Crag's biome on your planet to replenish our supply. Huh. I thought you had an inexcusable power source. Not inexcusable, inexhaustible. Now could you please pick up the pace of your speaking, you insufferable dunderhead? You want to make fun of my head when you got that great big old green thing on top of your neck? I sure wouldn't throw stones if I lived in a stone house. That's glass house. If you lived in a glass house. Well, why would anybody want to live in a glass house? It's liable to get broke by something like a, like a stone. I guess that's it. That's the reason for the stone and the glass. Oh, never mind. Long ago, my planet was filled with the most beautiful, colorful power producing crystals as far as the bulbous eye could see. But we got selfish, and over the years, our supply diminished. Very little of our power supply remains. In fact, we have barely enough to power this building. Seems like you got plenty of power to me. Y'all got more lights up in here than Ivory City at Christmas time. Enough! Now, we know there is a Crystal Crags biome near Ivory City. What is its precise location? Well, I sure as hey don't know. I ain't never seen no crystal clogs anywhere near Ivory City. Ah ha! That was a double negative. So, you in fact have seen a crystal crag's biome. 
That wasn't no double negative. That was a triple negative, which means it goes back to being true. Are you okay there, Mr. Alien? Your eyes are bulging out. They're always bulging out! I have bulgy eyes! Look, I, I don't want your eyes to bulge out of your head, so I'ma tell you. We ain't got nothing like that in Ivory City. We got cows, no. heck, we got volcanoes, and even corn. And, oh yeah, that stretch of land across the water with a bunch of shiny black blocks and colorful glowy bits. Shiny black blocks and colorful glowy bits, you say? Send in the planetary drillers! Hey, Grog. Do you feel the least bit bad that we are plundering this beautiful planet's resources for our own selfish needs? Heck no, Lindor. My super sweet Alienware computer doesn't power itself. Hashtag not sponsored. Oh yeah, me neither. I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Drill, baby, drill! Woohoo! Breaking news! The alien invasion forces stealing our resources to power their hideous mind control machines and their brain sucking vacuums! Be sure to cover your eyes if you run into one of them so you don't get your brain sucked out of your head! This is Cauliflower, permanent replacement for Broccoli, signing out. Turn it off! Turn it off, please! This is cruel and unusual punishment! Hmm, I disagree! You can learn from your Brassica brother! His reporting is much better than yours! What do you think, Lindor? Oh yeah, I'm Team Cauliflower all day. It's a shame we have to suck out his brains through his eye sockets, though. I didn't even know we did that. We don't do that, Lindor! Although, I do like the hysteria that this kind of reporting is causing. You've got to let me go back to the studio. I'll do anything. Anything, you say? Even facilitate our takeover? Uh, uh, peaceful integration into your society? Forget it. I'm not going to help you. Even if it means that I get replaced by an intern who can barely see over the desk and never gets my coffee order right. I mean, how hard is it to order a half caramel, half vanilla latte, decaf espresso, heated only to 100 degrees, with non-fat milk and caramel drizzle on top? Right. Look, Mr. Broccoli, we've started out on the wrong foot with your people. Hmm. I can't imagine why. Maybe it's because you've attacked our planet, abducted us, and sucked our brains out through our eye sockets. <laughs> Come now, Mr. Broccoli. We haven't sucked your brains out of your eye sockets. Why bother? There's nothing there. You are going to facilitate our friendly integration into your society. Forget it. I told you I'm not helping you. That wasn't a request, you vegetable. Meet our mind control computer, the evil robot. Evil robot, eh? That's original. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, no! Stay, stay away from me! Chase, we're receiving a transmission from the alien homeworld. It's broccoli. Gross. I don't want any. I hate broccoli. I'll take the fries instead. <sighs> I'm not taking your order, Agent. 
It's a message from Brock Lee. Oh, that annoying reporter from Ivory City. He has the most shrill, squeaky voice. And how do you go from being an intern to a reporter in like a day? No, Agent, that's Cauliflower. I'm talking about Brock Lee. Gross. Cauliflower is almost as bad as broccoli. Why are we talking about all these vegetables anyway? Citizens of Ivory City, this is your friend and outstanding award-winning reporter, Brock Lee. I have been chosen to facilitate the takeover, er, er, friendly integration of the brain-sucking aliens into our society. Resistance is ineffectual. All right, let's frab some broccoli. Computer, play my contender combat playlist. I'm on it. Okay, playing playlist country queens. Oh no, not that playlist. Cancel, uh, cancel. Let's go, girls. <laughs> what an appropriate choice of music, Agent Chase. This is what happens when you mess with the country queens, right, Agent Chase? Yeah, under my inspired leadership and direction. Oh, oh, building, look out! Attention all ground forces, engage the enemy. Citizens of Ivory City are attacking our world with a fleet of alien strike ships. And where did they get a fleet of alien strike ships, Lindor? I sent you and Grog there to ascertain the level of their intelligence. Yeah, we concluded that they weren't spacefaring, but then again, we tried to interrogate a cow. No. So you shouldn't go by us. On Gorganos Prime are you? And how did you get in here? Rosie 2.0, take care of this intruder. I let her in. She's Sheila. And she's here to destroy you. And, oh yeah, P.S., she's my real boss. What? You are a double agent? I must be losing my touch. I never suspected it. All right, I admit it was odd when I caught you googling how to trick brain-sucking aliens and spying for dummies. Who's the thick-headed one now? He is right, Supreme Commander. We do have much thicker heads than them. Linda, she's got a sword! Stop her! <laughs> Uh, 
Unless you want us to suck out your brains through your enormous eye sockets, I suggest you surrender. Remember, I am a maid, and I do know my way around a vacuum cleaner. Supreme Commander to all forces. Retreat. I repeat, retreat. Cancel, Cancel operation, operation, drain ivory, ivory city of all its resources, and allow the citizens to leave our planet in peace. Ah, uh, yes, well, thank you. It's not easy being a hero, but somebody's got to do it. Thank goodness you were here, Agent Chase. Two of the 97 shots you fired actually hit a building. Can we discuss the matter of my compensation now? Let's see. That's 100 studs per hour per ship. Plus mileage, wear and tear, cleaning, tire rotation. Hello? Is anyone there? Will someone please shut off my power? This is making me dizzy. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh.